Bronze sculptures were pivotal in the development of Florentine art, but their history and provenance remain relatively unknown. Forged in fire, bronze sculpture in Florence under the last Medici sets out to offer an overview of the art of bronze sculpture in Florence in the age of the last Medici Grand Dukes. The exhibition, running until 12th of January 2020, in the treasure of the Grand Dukes on the ground floor of the Pitti Palace, contains more than 170 pieces of art from many international collections. Starting with bronze by Gian Bologna, the visitor is introduced to the world of bronze sculpture, forged by fire as the exhibition name suggests. Bronze was a material that was then incorporated into the Grand Duke's artisan furniture workshops alongside the use of precious stones. Il bronzo nello sviluppo dell'arte fiorentina è stato fondamentale, in quanto soprattutto a partire dal 300 e proseguendo poi nei secoli successivi, ha rivestito un ruolo di primo piano proprio nel campo delle arti plastiche, quindi nell'ambito della scultura, raggiungendo anche risultati molto più alti rispetto anche alla stessa lavorazione del marmo che pur raggiunge a Firenze nel corso soprattutto del 4 e 500 dei risultati veramente eccezionali. The exhibition hosts Gian Bologna's exquisite bathing Venus, modeled for King Henry IV of France and never yet shown in a public exhibition, as well as the artist St. John that has been specially restored for this exhibition. Other interesting additions are a group of copies of classical statues in Buontalenti's Tribune in the Uffizi, created in bronze by Fuggini. The copies were unearthed in the Finance Ministry during the research period before the exhibition, almost 150 years after 19th century finance minister Quintino Sella carried them off to Rome. On show there are also many religious artifacts, as well as porcelain and furniture. There are two crucifixes, one by Gian Bologna and the other by Pietro Tacca, Gian Bologna's favourite pupil, renowned for giving us the porcellino or bronze boar in Florence's Mercato Nuovo. The exhibition finishes with a collection of 42 drawings by Massimiliano Soldani Benzi, acquired by the Uffizi only a year and a half ago. We spoke to one of the curators about how the different mediums presented in the exhibition, bronze and precious stones, are connected. Il legame è connesso eh, a due dei grandi protagonisti della scultura tardo barocca fiorentina, ovvero Giovan Battista Foggini e Massimiliano Soldani Benzi, entrambi straordinari scultori, ma anche altrettanto straordinari creatori di arredi per i membri della famiglia Medici. Nel 1694 Giovan Battista Foggini diviene architetto di corte e questa carica comprendeva anche la direzione delle bottiglie botteghe granducali e quindi sotto la sua guida le botteghe granducali cominciano a realizzare oggetti di straordinaria magnificenza che hanno come elemento caratteristico l'uso del bronzo di cui lui era un grandissimo maestro e naturalmente le pietre dure che eh, sono un elemento caratteristico della produzione degli arredi proprio granducali. Questi oggetti erano destinati ai membri della famiglia Medici, ma spesso erano inviati come doni ad importanti personaggi sia italiani che stranieri. Florence was the center of bronze sculpture from uh, at least the 16th century onwards until the 18th century when porcelain came as uh, the primary medium of sculptural uh, expression and of expression uh, of the decorative arts. For the first time this exhibition, which is in fact installed here with over 170 works of art, many of which have never been shown to the public because either they were unknown or else they were kept in private collections or private places, even in public collections that were not uh, publicly accessible, such as the most important bronzes that were created and were on view in the Uffizi during the 18th and 19th century. For the first time, this exhibition really gives an overview of the glorious history of bronze sculpting in Florence during that time period, starting with Gian Bologna and going on through the Susini Tacca families to artists such as uh, Massimiliano Soldani Benzi and Giovanni Battista Foggini, and ending with artists that only thanks to our research, which we pursued during the past few years in preparation for this exhibition, came to light. Uh, masters such as Pietro Cipriani celebrated at the time but only now we fully know their oeuvre. The exhibition is at the Pitti Palace until January 2020.